Queen of Pentacles reverse. So when the Queen of Pentacles comes up in a reading reversed, think about self-centeredness, jealousy, smothering. Uh, remember, think about that righteous, um, materialistic view. Uh, and the Queen of Pentacles reverse may be insecure or unsure of herself as well. So it can be one extreme to the other. And in the reverse position, her creativity remains stagnant. She can't get to the idea or get into the flow that she needs to be. And she has little financial power or independence. She relies on others to make decisions for her. And this has brought her to a very unstable position. She's moody. She's blaming others for her problems. She's stubborn. And she stubbornly refuses to assume responsibility for all her own life and actions. Her preference is to live her life for and through others, relying on them to direct her actions and thoughts even. The Queen of Pentacles represents both a down-to-earth woman who plays many roles to ensure that she's keeping her family happy. And she knows how to. She knows how to show them love. But she may become insecure and lack confidence. She doesn't bother with herself or her home's appearance. And becomes non-committal, untrustworthy. Her skills are being unused. She becomes sad, pensive demanding, weak-willed, and vacant. So she's actually not taking care of her own life affairs. So when the Queen of Rever when the Queen of Pentacles comes up reversed, then she's disconnected. As soon as you see that reversed, there's a disconnection with energy. And she is someone who is self-absorbed. So get out of your own head. Get out of your own thing. Take a look. Right? Upright. She's generous. And reversed. She can be selfish, even envious of other people's success. And this helps her lose her ability. She loses the ability to take care of herself and her surroundings and her, the focus on her materialness manifests negatively. And this makes her greedy and lacking in her sense of duty and capability. So it's really important for her to ground herself again and to recenter into the natural rhythm of who she is because she has gone into a self-absorbed place. So anything that she's focusing on will manifest negatively. And this makes her situation into herself even worse. So when this card comes up in a relationship reading, and it means that there is a selfish partner and that they're probably in the relationship for the wrong reasons. Usually, money or materialistic things. On a career reading, if you're asking about business, bad business partner or deal is unreliable, or there's a jealous person that's either a colleague or a competition. And when this comes up in a financial reading, money mismanagement is the first thing, or hoarding. It could be also a loss of money. So it means terrible finances. Either she's terrible with it or she mismanaged her money in the past. If it shows up in the future, then it is a warning for her to not mismanage her money, to don't go into a materialistic, materialistic 
um, mindset and that we should avoid holding cash or objects 